in addition to images, Weebly also gives us some nice modules for creating website galleries and slideshows. So let's take a look at how these work. I'm going to just go to a sample page that I have and drag a slideshow gallery right into the page. As soon as we do that, we get a pop-up window asking us to choose the style. And I'm just going to go with the simple slideshow, but you can try this on your own and experiment with these different versions. I'll click continue. And I'm asked to go ahead and upload some images to get started. Now I like to drag and drop and I have some images on my desktop. So I'm just going to select these and drag them right into that upload window. Weebly uploads them one by one, scanning them for viruses, which is pretty cool. And then on each image, we see a menu where we can add a link to that image. We can add a caption or we can go back and delete the image if we decide we don't want to use it. Additionally, you can reorder your images in this window by simply dragging and dropping them. So that's pretty cool. Now you'll notice that these images are different uh, aspect ratios. We've got some that are square, some that are more rectangular. We've got one that's more vertical. Anytime you have an image slideshow on a website, you're going to have the best user experience if the images are all the same dimensions. So that when they change from one to the next, the size is not jarringly changing. You'll also notice that one of these images has a border. So I've uploaded these to show you the different effects that these uh, different images have. But like I said, it's really a best practice to make sure that they're all prepared the same way at the same dimensions and ideally at the same resolution. We'll talk about that a bit more in a moment. Let's go ahead and click save and see what our new slideshow looks like. I'm just gonna move my window back over. As you know, we don't see the live version until we click Publish. So I'm going to click Publish. And we'll take a look at our beta link and navigate over to the sample page that I'm working with to see what our bird slideshow looks like. Pretty simple. We've just got some navigation at the top there and it just moves from one image to the next. Let's go back to our editor and we'll click once on that slideshow module to see what settings there are. In this uh, pop-up menu, you can see that there are some different choices for the navigation. I just turned on some double thumbnails and if we scroll down, we'll see two rows of thumbnails. Uh, we can change the location of the uh, thumbnails to the top or bottom. And there are all sorts of different settings that you can go through. You can even change the type of transition. So we can change it from a fade to a slide. And let's go ahead and click off of it so we can get a look at what that does. I'll hit publish and we'll just take a look on the live side again, just so you can get another view. So that's the slideshow module. Go back to our websites page. Pretty simple, you can click on the thumbnails to navigate directly to an image also. I'm going to go back to the site editor and delete our slideshow. Let's take a look at the other way that Weebly offers for working with images, the gallery module. In the left hand toolbar, I'll just drag that right in. And with the gallery module, we'll click once to get our uploader. And again, I'm just going to select some images. We'll just do a few of them this time. Drag them right in. And in a very similar manner to the slideshow, we see them pop right in, scanning as you go. So it's pretty hard to upload malicious stuff. And we can click on an image to work with it. So this time we just click once on an individual image and we get our gallery menu. We can add a link and just to show you what that's like, we click the link icon and we arrive at our familiar link creator menu. We can navigate to products, to individual pages on the site, even upload files. Really gives you a lot of things you can do with the gallery module. You can add a caption. 
just be, hurt, be sure to hit save and you can delete an item. So uh, on the second row here, I don't really like this uh, image with this weird border. I'm just going to go ahead and click the trash can icon to delete it. In the uh, gallery menu, you can also change the thumbnail sizing by specifying how many columns you want to have. So let's say that we are happy with that. We'll click publish to see what that looks like on the live site. Just use our beta link to view that websites, our sample page. And here we see our gallery. And when we click on one of the individual images, we should see it pop up. There we go. So it's a little bit different from the slideshow where they just play in the page. This pops it up into what's called the light box and you can navigate to the different images, either using the uh, built-in arrow or using the thumbnail at the bottom. Interestingly, I just noticed that the caption only shows when you hold your cursor over the uh, photo. So anyways, that's a quick look at the gallery module. And again, there are lots of uh, features for displaying it. Oh, here's our overlay for the caption. Pretty cool. So experiment with that and see what you think.